My goodness gracious. We've made it to the top. Or maybe just not the top. Let's go up a little bit higher. There's no clue up here, is there? Better be a clue. Rocky Mountain Lodge. Rocky Mountain Lodge. Log Cabin Lodge. Nothing? Brat. Well, I tell you what, everyone. Bo here from BZ Hub. We uh, climbed up this giant mountain because we're in search of one animal which should be nearby. And that is the mountain goat. And uh, I figured, you know what, we'd state our dominance by climbing up on the tip top. And uh, I'm not really sure now what to do, but uh, by golly, we did it. And we got it on film, so everyone knows we did it. <laughs> but now we need to go back down because we need to find ourselves some mountain goats, by golly. And uh, I have some areas that uh, I've been finding them, so I'm all prepared. And I have more than a shotgun and a bow this time. I also have the good old 30 odd six acres. And we're gonna lay some waste to some mountain goats, hopefully, when we uh, when we find them, I guess. So let's go let's go find some mountain goats, everyone. Okay, we've made it back down. I'll tell you why I took a Took a bit of a uh, shortcut there. I jumped down, uh, teleported, if you will, from the top of the mountain all the way down to here. And uh, yeah, if you walk that, that is a good distance. Um, I would know, because I did it to get that cabin. So, good deal. There's a trail there, but let's start looking around. There's gotta be some mountain. Whoa, what was that? What was that? Don't tell me it's a bighorn sheep. Ah. Oh. I thought to myself back and forth, I thought, man, should I do a bighorn sheep episode first or should I do a mountain goat episode first? And I chose mountain goat. Foolishly! Should have chose bighorn sheep. He's calm, but he's running away. Classic bighorn sheep move. Well, let's keep looking, shall we? Ooh! We found a three around with some bighorn as well. These bighorn and mountain goat, they like to hang out, but you can see how much larger this mountain goat is in comparison to the bighorn. Now, there's a three right there, but could we find a four? Because I would love to get a four down so that we can uh, check out the horns. Maybe, though, best thing is to uh, shoot a three so that we have something to compare it to. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and do that. You all talked me into it. We're doing it. Oh, what are you? You're a three as well. Okay. I think we got it a little far back. Okay, well, there's another three over there. Should we actually try to get a good shot on one of them? Just to prove that we have the ability to do so. There we go. Dropped him dead! On the spot. Now we have a nice little flare up of purple. Oh, they're a little spread out. A little Venn diagram of uh, hunting pressure there. Good deal. Drink zone for one, please. All right, our first mountain goat here. Check him out. Level three mountain goat. Can't expect the horns to look amazing being level three, but look at that. That's all right. Pick him up there. Yep. Yeah. Definitely looks like a strong, strong goat there. We got this one in the butt. <laughs> let's uh, let's see where the other ones went, because I know we got all three of them, I'm pretty sure. Here's this one. Oh, and I got a blood right there. Let's check this guy out. Right on, right lung, left lung, a perfect shot. He's right there. True score. Let's check that out. See what the horn length 29.35 overall spread there as well. Circumference. 
and then a circumference of the first, third, second, third, and the base. Very cool. Give you a little bit of the uh, scoring there. Pretty cool. So neat. It will be interesting to see the difference between a level three and a level four. And then, uh, you know, by golly, if I found a level five, that would just be amazing. But I don't think we'll be able to pull that off in the same episode. But uh, let's see if we can find this other guy. All right. Looks like a light brown fur variation there. We saw that on our first little playthrough. Um, first impressions of the game anyway. 87.3 didn't hit a uh, a good vital there but hey just over the gold mark would have been anyway let's uh see true score you can see the difference there between this one and the last similar horn length i do do believe anyway very cool we'll accept him always cool to see the true score being different on every one of them is is pretty neat I'm eager to find a four though, just to give you a little bit of background on the need zone times for the mountain goat. What I've found so far is that the mountain goat will eat between 1130 and 130 in the afternoon. And then they will sleep from one to 430 in the afternoon. So they, uh, they eat and they sleep into the afternoon, uh, which is pretty interesting. Uh, drink zone times not sure at the moment honestly haven't found a drink zone time for a mountain goat there's bighorn sheep there which I haven't written down yet let's write this down for bighorn sheep one thing you will be noticing is that the drink times for all of the animals are being shortened on the Rocky Mountain map and it will be interesting to see if they continue to carry that over onto the other maps um, the need zone for eating is being extended and then the drink zone times are all being decreased so interesting interesting here's a bunch of females pretty cool there and a bunch of female bighorn as well okay here we go so we've got we do have a four in this mix that one right there 88 to 114 I think that's the biggest four I've seen so far. There's the 82 to 106. But uh, this, where are you? Right behind the tree right there. That mountain goat, I think, has got to be the biggest one I've seen so far. There he is. No, that's a three. There he is. Right at 350 yards out right now. Let's get a little bit closer. Notice that a, uh, a double long with the 30-06 will drop them on the spot. Just like that. Just like that. All right, top notch. That is, I th like I said, I think that's the biggest mountain goat I've seen so far. Hey, there's that one. Just He's just standing there. He's going to drop too. There he goes. What are you doing, mountain goats? All right, let's go check out the smaller one first. And then we'll check out the larger one. And then by that time, I think it'll be helpful to go ahead and take those both. Ooh, that one's bigger. That one's bigger. The last one was 116. This one's 117. If you're so calm, why are you running around so much? It is 75, 25, 50, dropping dead right there. Okay, top notch. We've got three decent size level four mountain goats right now. Um, those, that last one, 117, wow. Because, I mean, I thought we would be getting close to diamond with the 116. There's a 16 to 20 turkey there. That's a decent size bighorn, my God. This lake, the Sun Sisters. <laughs> That's where we're, we're finding all this crazy stuff. All right, so this is the smaller of the three. Let's check this one. Billy Goat Gruff here. Got the humorous. We hit the bone there, and that's why I didn't keep traveling. But not too bad. Let's take a look at the true score. I'm going to take a picture with my phone. That way I can remember how big it is. Top notch. So we know how big the uh, smallest one is, 28, and then the last circumference is 9. I learned that that uh, last circumference is an easy way of remembering how big the horns are. So 28 and 9, 
Okay, sounds good. We're gonna accept him. Let's go check out this second one. I do think the second one should be a pretty good size one. It went to 116, and on the, before that, 105 was the highest I had seen. So 116 should be pretty high up there. And then that one across there said it could go to 117. So between this one and that one over there, we should be finding some pretty good size mountain goats. Top notch. Okay, let's take a look at this. 101.6, my goodness, six away. Oh, and he's beige, interesting. Six away from a diamond there, wow. Wow, okay. Top notch and good size horns. Let's look at this again. Wow, look at the horn length difference. That's eight inches. Eight inches or eight points, whatever it could be. I guess it could be eight points, I guess. Um, the overall spread is actually less than the smaller one we just shot. 22 instead of 19 on the circumference. 16 actually in the in the first third is smaller than the last one we just shot and 7.82 on the last the second third so very interesting there but still bigger than the last one we'll get a picture of this guy as well that way we can keep track of what we got and we will uh i think we're gonna go ahead and taxidermize him just to keep him on a record just to keep him on a record if you know what i mean all right, let's go check out this last one. I'm eager to see how big it is. Okay, let's take a look at this guy. This guy looks like one of those beiges as well. And my God, those horns, they are massive. We lucked out with these mountain goats. My goodness gracious. They are so big, so big. And this looks like an antelope. Okay. Let's take a look at this guy. The last one, if I uh, bring it up here, can't even see the total score, but I think it was 101.26 or something like that. Let's take a look at this one. 104.4. 3.2 away from a diamond there. Wow. Wow. Insanity. Horn length. Five inches past the last one. Wow. Or five points at least, not five inches. Um, the overall spread is tighter than the last two. Um, circumference at the base is, is actually less than the last one. 16.86, just a bit bigger than the last one on first third. And then bigger, definitely on the uh, second third on this one, than the second goat that we shot. So, wow, this guy is massive, especially with the overall length. I mean, that's where the, it really differs. That is crazy. This dude, yeah, is amazing that we found this guy. I, You know, let's go ahead and go to the lodge. I'm sure we can bring up a trophy lodge and we can see what this dude looks like. Okay, top notch. We are in the Hirschfelden trophy lodge right now. Let's throw down our big mountain goat here. Oh, look at this dude. I love how his base mount just like looks at you like, yeah, you won't fight. Look at me, bro. Dude, this dude is freaking buff as all get out. Okay, let's take a look at some of these poses. Oh, yes. You look like a horse, man. You're like a small Clydesdale. Oh, I like that. That is cool. Yup, yup, yup. That will work. Oh, I like that one too. He's like a giant Ibex. I almost, is he too big? I do wonder that like he is big he is a big goat man wow look at that it almost looks like they took the body of a gemsbok and then just made it shorter like that's what he looks like giant gemsbok whoa look at that oh my golly that is really cool i like that pose right there That is really cool. This dude is freaking sick and I love him. I love I love the style. He's just he just has this badass attitude to him. That is so cool. That is so cool. Okay. 
top notch. Well, I'm pretty excited about these mountain goat. I can't wait to actually get one and put it in my lodge because this dude is freaking sick. I mean, he is beautiful and he's giant and freaking just massive. And uh, he is going to be a great addition. And especially once we get a log cabin lodge, I mean, this guy is going to look sick. So cool. All right, well, comment down below what you think about the Mountain Goat. I think he is really cool. Just to reiterate the uh, need zone times here, we have drinking need zone 0900 hours to 11 o'clock. And then dr eating, we have 1130 to 130 in the afternoon. And then sleeping 1 p.m. to 430 p.m. So pretty cool. I mean, big gap after that where he's just kind of wandering around. But uh, really, really cool there. And just to let you all know, this Rocky Mountain Reserve Silver Ridge Peaks is set to release on June 23rd. So mark your calendars for that. Really cool. I love this mountain goat. It is I mean, it, he is just really cool, especially with these giant horns. <sighs> this is going to be a really cool animal to have on the map. So I hope you all enjoyed. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, hunters... Keep gaming, never stop.